Alright, Troy. Just rolled up. Just got to North Carolina. It's been a long, long ride in. Just pulled up. The boys are here. Y'all ain't gonna believe what they're doing. Check this out. Let me show y'all what these boys is up to right here. I don't, I don't want no smoke with you, Adrian. Hey, hey, Jacob, the Jersey kid know what's hey, up. Hey, Jacob's already up $160 on From playing ball? Come on. I'm finna kill everybody. <laughs> but we ain't doing no shoot from over here shoot from over there you got a j you got a w we straight shake and bake one on one first to 10 21. 21. Man, 21. Man. hey any surprise adrian ain't got no shoes on anybody shocked about that adrian stay with no shoes on a neanderthal look at j dub look at j look at j dub i'm gonna i'm gonna park the whip I'm gonna jump out here. I'm gonna stretch on these boys. You know I'm an OG. I gotta stretch first. Oh, oh. I'm gonna stretch on these boys and show, and show them what's up real quick, real quick. All right, y'all. Update on the basketball game. Yeah, I got out here and it just dawned on me. I'm an OG. Rolled my ankle in like the first two minutes. So needless to say, I'm done with hoop for the night. Let me give y'all a quick tour of the place. This place is super dope. Garage, washer and dryer. Come up the steps. Another washer dryer. Walk right in here. Hang a left. State of the yard kitchen. Hey, we 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 can moved on up out here. All the boys in here chilling, watching the game. I think J Dub got some cheese up on the Gonzaga game. Your bread's just ice cold chilling. Adrian just looks super cozy right now. J Dub, how much money we got on the game? I got two G's. You got two G's for real? On this game. On who? Baylor. All right, y'all hurry. You got two G's on Baylor. Two. Not one. My life savings. Yo, hey, he ain't got no more money after that. Zero. Two G's. I spent it all. <laughs> DC, I got zero cheese on him. You know what I got on him? One of these big waves. Bright and early, like 4.30, no, 5.30. I'm all messed up, 5.30 this morning. Day one of practice, heavy hitters. I've been waiting to get back here since we left in 2019. And now we're back. I'm excited about it. We're gonna roll out. Fishing uh, falls this week. It's pretty cool how they got it set up. Group A is fishing Jordan Lake and group B is fishing Falls Lake. The knockout round the championship round, both are on uh, Sharon Harris. So, gotta practice falls for two days and Sharon Harris for one, at least that's my plan. Um, yeah, man, looking forward to getting, getting after it. Exciting stuff. So stay tuned. We're gonna slide out to the lake, see if we can't get us a bite or two. Just hanging out with the champ. It's time. My boy Brody finna drop me in. Brad over there getting DC together. We at Falls Lake. The last time I was here, I was zero one day. But the other day I caught a couple big dodos. So we're gonna see what we can do. Morning, Morning. how y'all doing? Thank you, sir. Got a lot of nice people out here in North Carolina. Makes it for a good day. There he is, old VD, the man myth legend. All right guys, first bite. First bite, and he's not a begging, but look at the belly on this little dude. Yeah, belly shirt, that's what we call a belly shirt. Fishing a little steep, little bluff bank here. Had to pull out the old shaky head. It's real weird, man. Water temperature is 60 degrees. You know, I thought that would be optimal. Thinking fish would be shallow all over the place, but hadn't really been a case. Let's get this little dude back. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thought that would have been optimal conditions, man. There should be a lot of fish up spawning, but I just hadn't seen them. But we ain't giving up. See what we can do. Keep messing around. Hopefully we catch them. All right, I think I missed all of that, what I was trying to record, but anyways, we just caught her. That's a 696, big, big. 
we're gonna let her loose because she's uh she had that turbo crawl choked oh, 696 that's a big one need i say i'm gonna try to catch another one not catch another one i'm gonna shake them off now but that's like the first legit bite that i've had today so keep fishing all right guys midday update i'm afraid it's tough it is tough man i've had uh four bites today two of them were likely scoreable i had that 696 big one and then another one i shook off on a bush i didn't set the hook on it and it was probably a keeper it felt heavy i don't know of course they got to be two pounds but it is not easy today they making it tough on us the water's low out here on the falls there's not a lot of cover in the water and it's uh i mean but dude the water temp 65 degrees i mean it's it's perfect like spawning weather but i'm afraid there's an outside chance that we might just be a little bit late that we might have missed the spawn like the first big wave anyways kind of like what happened at Rayburn. a lot of these fish might be post spawn i don't know i really want to catch some more i'm gonna set the hook if i get some more bites today so i get a good look at them obviously that female i caught she was big fat full eggs that's a pre-spawner she ain't dropped her eggs yet but i don't know about the rest of these fish they should really be in some places that i'm checking and they're not so it's the game it's the game we love day two sitting here just got done making some breakfast breakfast you know what that you used to you, you never even used the k no breakfast you got an f breakfast that's it breakfast breakfast not breakfast not break fast not break fast breakfast breakfast make some breakfast hey, right. we were up which, which is just a banana it was what we was doing last night. We were up till one. No, we were actually up till like midnight. We were for real, like eleven thirty, shooting, shooting ball, shooting ball. Yeah. Not, not like, not like real, like just horse and like. Not yeah, we marking. We, we wasn't knockout. running. We wasn't running no pickup games or nothing. Nah. Hey, hey, Jay, they put me on some called knockout. I never played that before growing up. I cannot up. believe that. He couldn't believe that. We used to play a lot of twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, you know, just teams or straight up. I never played knockout, but knockout was cool. That was a. Uh, That's where some Jimmy's don't know how to play. Hey, some you just started shooting the balls right Hey, hey I, don't, I don't know how to dribble the ball. I just want to shoot the ball. <laughs> yeah, right. He they don't just want to shoot. <laughs> hey, knockout had your heart rate up, That's which true. is good. You'd be worn out. But anyway, I'm going to play knockout on the lake today, hopefully. God, we need to. We got to catch some fish. 88 degrees today, it's going to be. Scorcher. It's only first week of April. What's it? April 7th? April 7th is going to be 88 degrees in North Carolina. Crazy. That's going to make these fish crazy, too. We had to get crazy with them, though. All right, I'm going to check back in from the water. Hopefully with some great news. We ain't had great news in a while. We need some great news. All right, guys. Got a big one. Look at that big old female. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this thing. She's a big one. All right, we're gonna get an official, official weight on her though, real quick. Then I'm gonna put this big mama back. Yeah, that's right, 670. A freaking pig. I mean a freaking pig. Big mama, thank you so much. Gosh, you're a tank. Go lay the megs for us. There she goes, nice and slow. Gosh, what a fish. What a fish. Good lord. Second bite I've had today. I've been fishing shallow, you know, all day. And, uh, and yesterday too, and it's just, there hadn't been a lot of bites. You know, and so I don't know, but I stuck with it just because that's how I like to fish. It's springtime, it's pollen flying everywhere, water 62 degrees. I mean, there should be big ones up like that all over the place, but they're not, is the reality. Gosh, that was a freaking big one. <laughs> I'm shaking a little bit still, but needless to say, man, they got them in these lakes Falls Lake, Jordan Lake, Sharon Harris got giants. So that's the second big one. I caught a 696 yesterday and now a 670. Man, them things look like 12 pounders. I ain't caught a big one in a while, I guess. But anyway, meat. 
son, meat. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to keep going. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm going to roll my hook in, too. We ain't going to do too much of that right there. I'm going to roll my hook in three or four days before tournament time. But, biggins. Whenever I see this dude right here on the water, he is always on him. Okay. I don't know if y'all can spot that man over there in that beautiful white boat. But that's Mr. Cody Meyer, the one and only. Every time he's on the pond, there's biggins swimming around near him. So as long as I'm near Cody, we all right. We doing good. It's a beautiful day out here. It's gonna get to be 88 degrees today. Can y'all believe that? 88. Let me show y'all. All right, guys, I just ran into these guys right here. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. We got Rob and Ronnie, right? They rolled up on me, I'm out here practicing. Check this out. That is off the hook, dude. That is awesome. My man made this. I don't know how you necessarily made it, but how'd, how'd you make it? The, uh, computerized machine. Computerized Program machine. it in and then put the wood in there and hit the button. Dude, that's dope. Look, you got my, got my logo on there, American flag. Got some nice toasty. I got, I got this one for Wheeler, but... And you got J-Dub one, too. Look at J-Dub. Hey, that's dope. I gotta find him out here somewhere. That is dope. Yeah, I think he's on Sharon Harris today. Oh, he's tracked us in there already? Well, yeah, because we... He's gonna make it all the you way. You gotta go one... Yeah, exactly. Hey, you, 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 you know how it is. I'm probably gonna be over there tomorrow, but I took the approach of... I ain't gonna even see Sharon Harris if I don't catch him here. Right. So, I'm back out here today, but, uh... Man, how about that? My man makes some beautiful artwork. I don't even know what you call that. Woodwork. I don't know, but it's dope. <laughs> And I'm appreciative, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, fellas. That is awesome. Y'all, uh, hope y'all catch them all, man. Y'all doing some fishing today, too, right? Yeah, a little bit. Absolutely, man. Y'all reel them all in. Yeah. Don't leave none of them in the lake. That's a wrap. Day two practice done. Got one more day. Big decision to make. Am I going to go back here on Lake Falls, or am I going to go over to Sharon Harris? That's where the knockout and the championship round is. But if you don't make it to the knockout round, you know, it's one of those deals. So, today was uh, mediocre, I would say. We had some bites, a lot of small fish. We caught one giant. You guys saw that catch. Not cast a catch, but you saw the fish. A lot of non-scoreables. And then toward the end of the day, this evening, right? You see the sun setting. It's beautiful out here. Picked up several more bites. What I think is going on, I think those fish are just now starting to push up. Just now. So, we still don't fish competition for three more days, two more days. So, I think a lot can happen movement-wise with these fish. I think you'll see a lot of these fish start to slide up. That big one was full of eggs. The one I caught the first day was full of eggs. These are pre-spawn fish. And I was thinking outside chance that they might have been post-spawn, but that's not the case, which is great. So there should be more fish pushing up. Should be a fun event. Should be a lot of big bass caught. So we got one more day. I'm gonna sleep on it tonight and figure out where we're gonna go tomorrow in hopes of figuring something out wherever we go and making a knockout round and then a championship round and then of course winning the derb that is always the goal all right guys i'm gonna check back in i'm gonna let this bad girl right here i love that i can't get enough of that i know that's kind of lame huh listening to the engine but i like it sounds great all right guys we got about a five minute ride in slide on out dark little a dark little shadow and I was like what is that four pounder that's a good sign up holding these reeds right here 
tight, super tight, just swimming along. But see, that also tells me that they're not, they're not paired up and they haven't really even selected a spot yet. <clears throat> they just starting to get up in these areas, which is good. I like that. Water temp's right. Starting to get real warm and, and bubbly like a jacuzzi. It ain't gonna be long. And he's got these carp spawning too. They, they like the jacuzzi too. I'd say this is a good pocket. But they are on that, they are on this buzz bait right now. It's just a very basic toad on a buzz bait. It's my boy Jay Does buzz bait, by the way. That accent. Pretty good, I'd say. It catches a couple. But it has that squeal. Listen to it. This right here. Oh my bro. She still got it. Still got it. Oh. <laughs> this ain't even fair, bro. I got another one. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. All right, I knew. I knew you was a little dude, so I decided I'm gonna bust you. I don't even wanna go back there. I'm scared. I'm scared to know what lives back there. I'm scared right now. Legit. So I've had one bite today. I had one bite today and I seen one. Uh, that might be one. And a good one, might I add. God, she had to have that. Get up here, big girl. Gosh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, she scared me a little bit. Jeez, that's what we, that's what we want to see. Look at her, been eating her donuts. Now that is a big, healthy, jeez, look how short and fat that fish is, beautiful. That's a pre-spawn female. This is what I wanted to see, this is why I really wanted to catch one. Look at the gut on that fish, right? She's up there about to drop the eggs, but that's the indication that these fish are starting to make their move and their push. Beauty right there, she smoked that thing. Gosh, I'm gonna let you go, babe. I appreciate that. That was absolutely awesome. You destroyed that buzz bait. Now go lay them, go lay them eggs. That's what it's all about. All right. Those are the ones you want to see. Now it's time to cut the hook off, roll her in, and keep turning, turning and burning. I love that. see some high percentage areas. I got bit, a big fat pre-spawn fish. That tells me that they're on the move, making their way shallow. And there should be several more doing the same thing. I haven't yet caught a fish that giving me, that's giving me any indication that they might be post-spawn or done spawning. And that's good, because that means I'm fishing an area and I'm fishing places that they're coming to me. You always, you always wanna try to make sure you're fishing fish that are coming to you. And that's hard to judge sometimes, especially in the middle of spring. Because some fish go real early, and some fish go later. It's kind of tough, you know, but whenever you can figure out where they're headed, you're going to intersect them bad boys. Water. I said, I don't know what it is about this time of year when they get up, up there and 
start wanting to spawn and thinking about it and all that. But a wacky worm, they cannot handle it. If it's one there, he's going to bite it. Like, you can almost be assured. Spinning pole, wacky worm right in the top of the dome. Wow. You see it? That's it right there. Jeez, that's a fatty. That's over three, three, three and a half pounds. All right, thank you, mama. We appreciate that every single time. That's cool. All right, guys, so to, today, We've actually hit two lakes. I started out on Sharon Harris. That's where I was getting the blow-ups on the buzz bait. Now we're back on Falls. Falls is where I actually compete in Group B, okay? <laughs> two days here on Lake Falls. Hopefully we can make the knockout round, which is gonna be on Sharon Harris, so we can get some of those epic blow-ups. But until then, we gotta figure out Falls, because if we don't catch them here on Falls, we're never gonna even make it to Sharon Harris. So, it's gonna make things interesting, but uh, bites like that, We'll definitely do it. Slight touch. <laughs> Gosh. Devoured the turbo crawl. Jeez. Oh, biggie. Again. Big old. Pretty small female, gee, she's heavy. Dang. All right. So we caught two today out here on Falls. Obviously, we don't want to catch a bunch, but uh, we caught those two. And um, I feel comfortable about my assessment that they're right there, pre-spawn, getting ready to be spawning. Or even some, in some cases, a few of them won't be spawning, you know? Just ain't nothing like hitting them on big rod, big line, big hook in the bushes. I love that, man. And some wood. I absolutely love it. New favorite rod that I'm working on, Signature City. Y'all ain't, ain't seen this yet. It's coming though. She bad too. All right, guys, out in the boat, rigging up rods. Practice is officially over. So Group A is actually out competing right now. Uh, they're on Jordan Lake, and from the looks of it, they're catching them pretty good. I'm in Group B, so we're hitting Lake Falls tomorrow uh, with the hopes of doing the same. I mean, practice was um, it was all over the place, highs and lows, typical fishing, but there are some very big fish in this lake, and I'm very confident they're gonna show out here tomorrow. So just out here rigging up, man, finish, finishing up last few little items. Making sure I tie all my FG knots today. So I ain't gotta do it on the water tomorrow, but we'll get it done on, on the water too. It's really not that bad of a knot to tie. People make more hassle about it than necessary in my opinion. Look, I'm already halfway done. Three more wraps and we're done. But anyway, yeah, so. I don't know what all's gonna play, man. I think guys are gonna catch them on top. I think guys will catch them. You're gonna see some flip fish. You're gonna see some wacky rig fish, some chatterbait fish, some spinnerbait fish, a little bit of everything. But they're gonna be some solid fish. Not one bite that I have in practice was a fish poor or not healthy. Every single fish, I mean, I'm talking even the little non scoreable babies, little one pounders, were just fat, stout, healthy fish. <clears throat> And that was the same with the three pounders, the four pounders, etc. So, 
There's gonna be some big ones caught, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Hope we can make that knockout round. You guys saw the footage from there. That was Lake Sharon Harris. That place is gonna be awesome too, but we gotta get there. So we gotta catch them here on falls over the next two days of competition. So appreciate you guys checking out the channel, watching the vlog. This is the pre-practice or the practice recap slash vlog with a few catches, etc. in it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment. I'll see y'all on the lake. Peace.